On a tidally locked planet, one side always faces its star, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This unique configuration creates a range of environmental conditions that could give rise to diverse and fascinating forms of alien life. Here are some possibilities. The most likely area for life to exist on a tidally locked planet would be the narrow band between the day and night sides, known as the Terminator or Twilight Zone. In this region, temperatures could be moderate, allowing for liquid water and a more stable environment. Life forms in the Twilight Zone might have unique adaptations to take advantage of the constant low-light conditions. Animal life might develop highly sensitive eyes or other light-sensing organs to navigate and find food in the dim environment. Some organisms could use bioluminescence for communication, mating displays, or attracting prey, leading to a diverse array of glowing life forms that light up the twilight landscape. Plants or photosynthetic organisms might have larger or more efficient light-capturing structures, allowing them to absorb as much sunlight as possible. On the star-facing side of a tidally locked planet, extreme temperatures and intense radiation might give rise to extremophiles, organisms capable of surviving and thriving under harsh conditions. Their cellular structures might incorporate heat-resistant proteins or other molecules to protect their DNA from damage. They might also have specialized pigments that reflect or absorb harmful radiation. These life forms could utilize solar radiation as an energy source, similar to how Earth's plants use photosynthesis. Such photosynthetic organisms could take advantage of the constant sunlight to generate energy, potentially resulting in highly productive ecosystems. Some life forms might even utilize alternative biochemistries, such as silicon-based life, which could be more resistant to high temperatures. On the frigid side, life would face unique challenges. The perpetually dark side of a tidally locked planet might be too cold for life on the surface. However, life could exist below the surface, where geothermal activity provides a source of heat and energy. Subsurface organisms might rely on chemosynthesis, using chemical reactions from geothermal vents to produce energy instead of sunlight. These ecosystems could be similar to Earth's deep-sea hydrothermal vent communities, with microbes forming the base of the food chain and supporting a diverse array of specialized organisms. These creatures might have adaptations to withstand the cold, such as antifreeze proteins or unique metabolic processes that allow them to survive at low temperatures. A tidally locked planet with a thick atmosphere could have life forms that float or fly in the atmosphere, taking advantage of the planet's atmospheric currents. Atmospheric life forms would need to be lightweight and buoyant, with structures such as gas-filled sacs or hollow bones that allow them to stay aloft. These creatures might have evolved to swim through the air, using wings, fins, or other appendages to propel themselves through the atmosphere. They could feed on airborne particles, such as water vapor, dust, or even other floating organisms. Some might have the ability to change their buoyancy, allowing them to move between different atmospheric layers to seek out the most favorable conditions. Life on a tidally locked planet could evolve to adapt to changing conditions or migrate between different environments. For example, organisms might develop seasonal changes in their biology or behavior, such as growing thicker fur or entering a state of hibernation during periods of extreme temperature. Alternatively, they might migrate between the twilight zone and the day or night sides, following the most favorable conditions for their survival. These migrations could result in unique predator-prey dynamics and ecosystem interactions. And then, organisms on a tidally locked planet might develop intricate symbiotic relationships to help them survive in the challenging environment. For example, heat-resistant organisms on the day side might provide shelter and warmth to cold-tolerant organisms from the night side, while the latter provides nutrients or other resources in return. Another possibility is the formation of mutualistic partnerships between photosynthetic organisms and consumers, where the consumers protect the producers from predators or help disperse their seeds, while the producers provide food in return. 
These are just a few possibilities of how alien life could evolve on a tidally locked planet. The actual forms that life might take on such a world would depend on the specific conditions and resources available, but these ideas serve to illustrate the diverse and intriguing possibilities that await us as we explore the universe. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.